Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to connect our Flutter application to Google's Cloud Firestore. So right now, if we type in a present and we hit add, we are printing it to the console. So we need to take that input and save it inside of our database. So if you go into your console in the Cloud Firestore tab, go ahead and create a database if you haven't done that already. And how we are going to save the data is each gift will be in a collection and the collection ID will be the user's unique UID. So for example, the UID might look like that. And then for the document ID, you can do an auto ID, but we're not going to do that because we're planning on adding a delete function and finding, so we'll have to find the ID and with auto ID that's a bit complex. So to make it easier, we're just going to make the document ID the present that is input. So for example, if the present is a phone, that will be the document ID. The field, we'll call this item underscore name. It will be a string and the value will also be the name. If we hit save, this is an example of how we will be saving our data. Again, everything I do in this video will be from the Cloud Firestore docs on the Flutterfire website. The first thing we want to do is add Firestore to the dependencies. So go ahead and paste that in there. And then inside of our home screen.dart, we're going to scroll down to the add present widget. And if you recall, this widget encompasses the input as well as the submit button. So if we go to the button right now, we are just printing out the present. What we want to do instead is we want to call a method that will save the present. We'll call this add present. And when we call it, we're going to pass in my controller.text. Let's go ahead and create this. We'll make this method inside of the add present widget. And this takes in a present. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a collection reference. So we need to reference this collection here and create an instance of that. So to do that, we can say collection reference, we'll call this gifts, is equal to Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection. And the collection path, this will be the UID of the user that is currently logged in. So we need to get that UID. So we can use the Firebase auth package to get that. We'll say final Firebase auth auth is equal to firebase auth dot instance and then we can get the current user by saying final user user is equal to auth dot current user and we can grab the uid with final uid is equal to user dot uid and then we'll pass that into here so this right here is getting a reference to this collection here. Next, we need to actually add the present. So we will return gifts, which is the reference to the collection. We'll say dot doc present. So we are creating a document with the name of the present. Then we will say dot set We'll say item underscore name equal to the present that is right here. And then we'll say dot then value. We'll set the present equal to an empty string. And we will print out present added. And then we will just catch any errors that we might get. And we will just print the errors out. 
All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. So I come over here to our app. I enter phone and hit add present. We're good here. We see output present added inside of Cloud Firestore. If we give this a refresh, here we go. So this is what was added. And you'll notice the collection name, U6P7, etc., is the same as the UID for the user that is currently logged in. So this will allow us to create a different collection for each user. And you'll notice if we enter another present, it goes inside of this collection as well. So the next thing that we want to do is we need to get the presents and display them in a list view here. So for that, we're going to go to our get presents widget, and we're going to do a similar thing where we will fetch the presents inside of here and display them down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take away all of the hard-coded presents, leave this list view blank for now. And up above here, we also need to get a reference to the current user. So let's go ahead and copy this. And below here, we need to get a reference to the collection. So we're going to do, again, the same thing we did here. Collection reference, call it gifts, equals Firebase Firestore, dot instance dot collection, passing in the user's unique identifier. And what we want to return is not an expanded. We want to return a stream builder, and this will be a query snapshot. And inside of here, we are going to set the stream to gifs dot snapshots, and the builder will say build context context comma async snapshot query snapshot call the snap shot this is taken directly from the flutterfire documentation now we can say if snapshot dot has data or sorry Let's first check if it has an error. We'll return a text widget saying error. If we're loading, so if snapshot.connection state is equal to connection state dot uh, waiting, we want to return uh, loading text and then the default we will return an expanded again all that does is it makes whatever the child is of this take up the entire remainder of the screen in this case our child will be a list view the children will be our data so snapshot dot data dot docs dot map and then we need to uh, map our document snapshot call this document we'll say final present is equal to document dot data item underscore name remember that is coming from this field here and then we will return a column inside of here we'll have children and we will just have a list title for each one of these the title will be the present in a text widget and the leading will be an icon button and eventually this will be the delete button so we'll give it an on pressed 
in, we'll say. For now, we'll actually make this empty just so we can load this and see what we're getting. And the icon will just be a delete button. Perfect. And we're getting an error here. Let's see. Children equals snapshot dot data dot docs dot map document snapshot document. And we're getting an error here because it's not a list. So at the end of all of this, right after the column, right here, we'll say dot to list. There we go. That should fix the errors we're getting. Now, so what this is doing is every time there is a change to our database, this will update and display the new information. So let's go ahead and give this a refresh. And there we go. We get our two GIFs. And if I go ahead and add another present, and hit add present, it instantly displays inside of our list view. So the next thing that we need to do is implement this delete method. This will be pretty simple. Let's use some error notation to call this method. We'll call it delete present. Again, we need to pass in the present because we're using that to find the uh, document. Let's copy. Let's copy this, and right above this widget here, we'll create this. It takes in a present, and this will be a future with a return type of void. Now inside of here, we need to again get a reference to our current user, and we need this reference to the collection. And then to delete this, we can say return gifts dot document passing in the present because again the present is the document name. So for example, if we hit delete on ball, the document name will be ball, and we'll delete this one. So return gifts dot doc present dot delete, and that's all there is to it. But again, we are going to print out to our console and then catch errors. So we'll say dot then print uh, present deleted. And we'll say dot catch error. And we will just print out any errors if there are any. And that is all there is to that. So let's go here, refresh our app. And if we go back here, and for example, we delete this one, it removes here and it removes here. So what I want to do now is log out and log back in with a different user. And you'll see that we don't get these presents. We get nothing. So let's sign out. Uh, let's create a new account. We'll make this tester at test.com. Give this a password. Password one, two, three, exclamation point. We'll create that account. There we go. And we'll log back in with you, tester. There we go. And we log in and you'll notice there's nothing here. So if we refresh here, we are now using this email and there is no collection for it. So nothing is showing up. But if we want to add a present and we hit add present, we get one present showing up and a new collection has been started with that ID. Perfect. So the last thing I want to do is change this welcome user to show the user's email. So that is up here. This text here. And this is pretty simple. We'll just go above this scaffold. We'll say final Firebase auth auth is equal to firebase auth dot instance grab a user object call it user is equal to auth 
dot current user like we've seen multiple times already and we'll create a final name set that equal to user dot and instead of uid we want the email and then we can just display maybe we want to say welcome comma dollar sign name go ahead and little r to reload that and here we go welcome tester at test.com so that is it for google cloud firestore and in the next video we are going to clean up this app a little bit and make it look a bit nicer but the overall functionality is all complete